Hi, and welcome back. My name is Alma from twinsmommy.com. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how to add affiliate links to your blog post. All right, I'm going to be using WordPress and I'm going to show you first one will be from ShareASell and then the other one will be Amazon links. Now, before I show you what you need to do about affiliate marketing is that you can find a program or a service, you sign up to the affiliate platform, and then you can grab your affiliate link and you need to make sure to read so that you can add the exact link or you can cloak them. It's best to cloak your links because it's easy to tell people to go to such and such when you can have easy to identify link. Now cloaking your links, like I said, it's not for every program. So make sure that it's allowed. I know for a fact that Amazon does not want you to cloak their links. They, you need to use the exact tracking link that they give you, but with other programs you can, and I'm going to show you the raw link, but I'll show you how I would use my own personal links that I have for the programs that I'm showing you. So just be aware of that, that you can use something like pretty links, which is a paid program where it will cloak your link. So you can decide what you want it to say. So if you're an affiliate for target and you want to promote target things on your blog, then you can have your blog name at whatever go target or whatever you decide <laughs> for your affiliate links. So for me, I do my domain name slash go, and then I do my program name. So it would be twinsmommy.com slash go slash tailwind legal templates that I'm an affiliate for or Grammarly or whatever it is. But I'm going to show you what you would do if you didn't have that option of cloaking. Like I said, it is a paid option. Um, I do not know of any other programs. I just know of pretty links at this moment. So you could always research that, but let me go over. This is my blog. So this is what I have here. The best writing tips for bloggers. Let's say today I want to write a blog post about the best writing tips for bloggers. So I'm just going to start writing. Now, when you do affiliate marketing, you can call out the program that you recommend or the service that you recommend. So like in my next sentence, I can say something like I use Grammarly to make sure I have, you know, error free blog posts. I can do that. Or if I wanted to, I can link spelling errors or grammar errors to my affiliate. Play around and see what works. Most of the time I will just use phrases and use that as an affiliate, unless it's an entire post about Grammarly or an entire post about Tailwind or an entire post about Bluehost, then I would link the actual name. So Grammarly is part of ShareASell and in ShareASell, there are thousands of tools and services that you can become an affiliate for in all different types of lifestyle niches and business niches. So Grammarly is one of them. I also use it for Tailwind. Tailwind is in ShareASell as well as some other affiliates that I'm a part of. Find what you want to promote and then you, this is where you can grab the link. So it says here HTML codes. If I click on that, I can just select the URL. And so this would be my special link. If I click triple click and copy, and then let's just paste to see where it takes us. It's going to take us right to Grammarly. So you can see that that's, and it's tracking. It has all this special stuff, you know, putting this into my blog post. It's quite, it's a, it's not a pretty link. <laughs> it's just not that pretty, but that's what it would look like when you're doing affiliate marketing, make sure that it is clicked. This is sponsored and you don't want the search engines to follow you. And I would definitely open it on a new tab. So this is how I would set all my affiliate links just to be on the safe side for Google. If you're doing a lot of affiliate marketing on your blog and you're putting a lot of links, you do want it to open in a new tab and you do want it to let Google know that this is what you're doing. It's okay. Google allows you to do affiliate marketing, but you just have to tell it, right? And that's how you would set the link. Now for my personal Grammarly link, you know, mine is, like I said, uh, slash go slash Grammarly. That is my special link. And so then I would do the same here. So that's how I would set my affiliate links when I'm using something like ShareASell. Amazon is a very popular affiliate marketing program that many, many thousands of bloggers use. And I do have a blog post on how to make your first Amazon sale. So I'll make sure to link it down below. So make sure to click on that blog post so you can get some more information because I'm not going to go deep into Amazon affiliate marketing. But what I am going to show you is a couple ways of how to display your Amazon links. When you sign up to Amazon Associates, you're going to get a site stripe on your URL. So it looks like this. Let me show you. 
this is what it looks like right here. You can add your links. So if I wanted to promote this book, let's pretend it's a blogging book, you can grab the text link or the image link. So under text, this is what it looks like. I like to use the short link. Some people like to use the full link. Again, it is a lot. I just, I don't, it doesn't look pretty when people are, you know, hovering over the link. I like a short link. So I just do that. It's already highlighted. So I'm going to copy here and then I'm going to go back to my blog post and add that link. I also like to use this blog publishing planner to help me create my content calendar. Let's just pretend that's what this is, a blogging publishing planner. So I would highlight blog publishing planner, exactly what it is, and then drop the link, paste it, make sure those toggles are all open and then click the arrow. And then that's what it looks like. If I want to show a picture of what it, this looks like, I would grab the code for the picture. So under image, I grab the code. I like large and just copy it. And you do need to create an HTML block in WordPress. So there's two ways you can do. You can do a standard HTML block. and paste it, then you can preview it. And that's what it looks like. You can't move it around. You can't make it center or anything like that. So that's one way, or you can create a, or classic block, add here your code, then you can edit visually, and then you can center it here, or you can make it aligned within your blog post. So there's two ways to go about how you want to do this. I like the classic way to add my affiliate links. That's just what I do. And so once I have where I want it, I can convert it back to blocks. And then another way you can add your affiliate links is with a button. So underneath this, if I just scroll my mouse underneath, I can get a plus. I can add a button, justify it to the center. And then I can just put, you know, buy on Amazon. And then I can grab the link that I had here right there, just highlight it and copy it, add the link here, make sure it opens in a new tab, have that. And then I can play around with the size. It's kind of big. So I'm going to make it small. I'm going to play around with the border, make it less rounded and the color, you know, let's just make it yellow just for it to stand out. You don't want to use your theme colors or people may not notice it. So something opposite mine's pink. So, you know, yellow is fine. And then I'm going to save it. So let's just preview what I, what it looks like on the front end, what people see my theme and my husband codes. A lot of my stuff has, as soon as I add an affiliate link, a disclaimer with Amazon, you do have to make it clear as close to the link as possible that you're using affiliate links with Amazon. So that's what this is. So you can definitely take a look at what I have here to generate your own disclaimer for your own site. And you can definitely create a block too a reusable block so that it's always available to you. So you can call it your Amazon affiliate disclosure, and then you can put that on the close to the link. So if you don't use any affiliate links in your introduction, but you use it in your first subheading, then you would add your affiliates disclaimer block, and then you would add your affiliate link. So what you would do, my husband just has it so that it recognizes as soon as I have affiliate links, to put that disclaimer on, All right? So that's what it looks like. So it just says as an Amazon associates, I earn from qualifying purchases. This is important. This is what Amazon wants you to say. They really don't want you to say that if you use my link, it will help me with my blog expenses or something. They don't want it to be that specific. They just want people to know that you're using Amazon and that you earn from those purchases. So this is what it looks like on the front end. This is what it looks like here on my site. And then if it's centered with the button. So I like it centered. It seems to be very justified towards back here, which is kind of odd. So I probably wouldn't use that method on my theme here, but I like this version here. That looks great. So that was a quick tutorial on how to add affiliate links using share sell links and using Amazon links. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and adding those affiliate links to your blog post. Let me know in the comments below if you want more tutorials on affiliate marketing or more information about it. And make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video.